Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad, author of The Parasitic Mind, How Infectious Ideas Are Killing Common Sense. We are currently in the throes of a COVID-19 global pandemic. The reality though is that we've been facing a much longer lasting global pandemic of the human mind, which was spawned on university campuses. This is the story that I recount in The Parasitic Mind. Think for a moment of a mouse it should be afraid of cats. That would be its natural instinct. Yet when a mouse is infected with a brain parasite known as Toxoplasma gondii, it loses its innate fear of cats and becomes sexually attracted to the cat's urine. Not a very good outcome for any such parasitized mouse. Or think about the parasitic wasp. It identifies a hapless uh, spider. It stings it. And then it takes his zombified body back to the burrow where it lays an egg. And then the egg will eat the zombified but live spider in vivo while it's alive. Which, by the way, is exactly what happens to us when political correctness keeps us in a zombified state, leading us to the abyss of infinite lunacy. So I argue that in the same way that all sorts of animals can be parasitized by actual brain worms. Human beings can be parasitized by idea pathogens, dreadfully bad ideas, and as I said, that have been uh, spawned on university campuses. It takes intellectuals to come up with really dumb ideas. And so in the book, I discuss these idea pathogens. I discuss the nefarious consequences of being brainwashed by these bad ideas whether it be in politics or government or in the media or in business. And for example, the manner by which we hire people is no longer based on their merit, but based on immutable traits. That's not a good thing. And that's exactly the idea pathogen of, say, identity politics. Or when we talk about cancel culture, if you say something that is not consistent with the politically correct orthodoxy, people will seek to cancel you. So I take this cocktail of idea pathogens, I trace where they come from, I explain the uh, negative consequences of being brainwashed by these ideas, and then as any good epidemiologist would do, I offer a vaccine, an inoculation against these bad ideas. So it really is a story of how pathogens can cause people to become fully uncommitted to science, reason, logic, and common sense. And hopefully, in reading this book, you will find peace through reason, logic, common sense, and science. Take care, everybody. Cheers.